Hey there stampers, happy Friday. Welcome to day two in the countdown for release day to the July to December 2021 mini catalog and celebration brochures. We've got five days left to go. And um, I decided to do a Facebook Live leading up to launch day featuring some of my favorite products. All right, I apologize for being a couple minutes late. I had an appointment this morning that went a little bit longer than I thought. Um, now, my name is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Alberta, Canada, and I'm excited to be here to share some of my favorites with you. There are so many great things in these catalogs that I can't wait to share with you. You'll see over the next few months. Um, but today, we are gonna focus on a collection of products. Now, these are the two brochures. I can't share what I can't share the inside pages yet because they haven't gone live. So if you do have these catalogs, if you receive them in the mail, then be sure to pull them out because you might want to flag some of these pages that, for the products that I share. Um, I will share the pages that they're found on. Okay, so today the products that I'm going to be using, first of all, the bundle I'm going to focus on is the Peaceful Deer bundle. This can be found on page 26 of the mini catalog. Um, and it is a really, really pretty bundle, but what I love about it is that it's a punch and not dies. Punches are so much easier. I love dies, don't get me wrong, because there's so much more potential with a die than there is with a punch. But for quick and easy, which a lot of times that's what you're looking for in a Christmas card, it punches are the way to go. All right, so this, this um, bundle has some coordinating paper that you can earn for free during celebration. So in the celebration brochure, um, you'll find this Peaceful Prince DSP on page eight. You can earn it for free with a qualifying purchase of $60. So here's a little peek at the patterns. Now I love this paper. And for those of you who know me, it's because of the Buffalo check print. Um, I am a huge, huge fan of Buffalo plaid. And there is a red and black here. I love black and white, which there is a ribbon in that catalog that is black and white buffalo check. Hello, this just has a special place in my heart. <laughs> I was telling somebody the other day um, that I actually have a buffalo plaid chair in my bedroom. I love buffalo plaid so much, especially black and white, but black and red is good too. Okay, so these deer... Actually, you can punch out with the punch. Well, some of them, not all of them. It depends on which way that they face. And then we've got some spruce or some pine needles. We've got some plaid with snowflakes. Look at this one. We've got green and black and green buffalo plaid trees. Hello. We've got a birch tree pattern and then we've got another plaid pattern. And then if we flip them over, We've got black and red plaid. We've got some green snowflake kind of patterns. Did I share this one already? Nope. Um, we've got another plaid pattern, some polka dots, diagonal stripes, another favorite of mine, and then another snowflake pattern. Okay, so lots, lots of great patterns in this. This one, again, beginning August 3rd, you can pick this up for free with a $60 purchase. Now, in addition to these two items that I use today, I'm also throwing in a couple other items, actually three other items. So I'm going to use this t Timber 3D folder. Now this is part of the Peaceful Place suite, which is on page 37 of the mini catalog. And it's got this beautiful kind of wood grain pattern to it. So we're gonna use that. And we're going to use the seasonal labels dies. So this is part of another one of my favorite suites, which you'll see me use um, on, on another day as well. But I wanted to show you how you can combine this die set with lots of different things. So we're gonna use these, it's full of lots of different label shapes. So we're gonna use some of those today. This is, like I said, the seasonal label dies. You'll find them on page 18 and they are part of the painted Christmas suite. And then the last thing that we're going to incorporate is one of my returning favorites. So um, every once in a while, Stampin' Up, um, when they release something, they will 
carry it over to the next catalog. Sometimes it's the next annual catalog and sometimes there's a period where it's not available and then it's going to be, it's re-released in a mini catalog, which is the case for this, these wonderful gems. So these were available for the first time in last year's holiday catalog and then they weren't available for the longest time and then they were re-released in this catalog. And I love these because they are, they're the same as the Genial Gems, which you guys have seen me use over and over and over. I love them. The Genial Gems come in mint, macaron, and pale papaya. These ones come in real red and they're kind of like a clear with gold. Like they've got a little bit of sparkle to them. They're just so pretty. So we're going to use those today. I was so excited that those were coming back. All right. And then I've got a couple other products that we're going to throw in there as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me just catch up on the comments here. I've seen them kind of fly by here. Woohoo for Friday. Yes, that's right, Shirley. Good morning. Good morning, Shara. Good morning, Mary Liz and Alice and Denise and Shauna. I know Buffalo Track is so amazing, isn't it, Shauna? I love it. Uh, buffalo plaid and birch trees. Yeah, you can't go wrong with buffalo plaid and birch trees. Good morning, Kristen. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I have, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do some punching. So I've got half of a sheet of Sahara Sand cardstock and I'm going to take the punch and I'm gonna punch multiples of this deer. Just gonna go all the way across. I'm not too worried about, now this is a builder punch. So you get a little circle, which I, I would imagine you could punch in red. Wouldn't it be cute in red glimmer? and to make Rudolph, that would be so cute. Um, and then we get these antlers. I'm not, not looking for the nose and I'm not looking for the antlers for this particular card. So I'm not gonna worry too much if, if the antler overlaps. I just need the deer and I need quite a few of them. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Joy. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. Punch it many, well, maybe not as many as I can. We'll see how many. I can always punch more if I need to. We'll start with this. We'll do one more and see how it goes. Uh, the red dots are in the mini catalog. Oh, I forgot to tell you what page they are on because they are not very noticeable. They are on page 62 of the mini catalog um, and they're kind of in the upper spot right close to the fold of the catalog. They're, they're really not very noticeable. You really have to look for them. So don't miss out on those. You definitely don't want to miss out on those because I, I seriously love them. And red and gold, I mean, you can use those for so many different projects at Christmas time. Well, all year round, really. Okay, so we've got a bunch of deer cut out. And now, now I don't have, I thought I set up, I set up, tried to set up last night because I had an appointment to get my hair done this morning. I got nice new hair. Um, and I forgot to pull out my adhesive, my bone folder, my scissors. So I'm just reaching around to grab all that stuff here. Okay, where is dimensionals and mini glue dots? Okay. All right, so we're gonna fold this along the score line. And we're gonna start attaching our deer. So I wanted it to be a tone on tone, kind of subtle background. Okay, and what I want to try to avoid, I don't want there to be rows, so I'm gonna to try to offset some of these. Like this. And some of these things, what you can do is when we snip off the excess, sometimes you can kind of tuck them, like maybe his little bum that gets cut off there could maybe fit right here. This guy's head that gets cut off could go here to fill in some of these spots, okay? Now when you do this, you want to add, for these ones that are all on, it doesn't matter so much as long as you've got adhesive on them in some areas, but the ones that go off the edge here, you wanna make sure that you're kind of applying adhesive everywhere because sometimes there's little bits that stick off but that join back on like for example 
I'll show you when we get down to this one. That one's the perfect example for this. Okay, so for this one, I know his head is going to stick off and his bum is going to stick off. So let's, let's do more this way. I guess his bum isn't going to stick off. We'll put this guy more like that. Okay, so we'll put some adhesive. I'm just using multi-purpose adhesive, but you can use any adhesive that you'd like. So you can see I put some on that leg as well, just because sometimes the leg portions of it get cut off and if you don't have adhesive on it, that whole leg will fall off. Denise asked to see the new do. Maybe tomorrow, Denise. I was too quick. I couldn't do a face on and then um, camera down. I didn't have time because I was running a little bit late. But tomorrow I'll make sure that I do a face on view and then flip the camera down so that you guys can see. I, I love getting my hair done. Actually, <laughs> my stylist, she texted me on Tuesday because I was supposed to go on Wednesday. Oh, let's put it on this foot. And she said that they got notice that their power was going to be off on Wednesday for a few hours, which was during my appointment. She goes, I can still do your cut and color, but I won't be able to style it. She goes, do you want to keep your appointment or do you want to reschedule? I'm like, can we please reschedule? Because that's one of the best things about going to the hairdresser, right? Is getting, your, somebody, get, getting somebody else to do your hair for you. And then getting two or three days worth out of that. It's just so soft and it's so straight. Okay, so we've got it all stuck on here. Now we'll flip it around. And we're going to trim off these extra pieces. So I'm just going to have a look. Okay, I probably won't use that piece. I try to like to do this like piece by piece. So now I'll trim this guy off. And that's a bit small. It could, it could go on there. Actually, yeah, let's do that. I think that'll work well. So we'll put a little bit of adhesive on here. So I know that most of you, if not all of you that are watching, have your copies of the catalog. What are you most excited about? What can you not wait to order? Because there's so many great things. I think I could probably go on, like I'm doing this for like the six days leading up to the release. Not sure how, how much more I will do it because I could probably go on for probably two solid weeks and share a different product every day. <laughs> There's just so many great things. Okay, there we go. So now we've got our pattern. So a subtle, subtle pattern with little deer jumping across the background. Can you see that? Very, very subtle. I've done this on scrapbook pages a few different times as well using different shapes and it's kind of fun. The other thing that you can do if you want this to stand out a little bit more, there's a couple things that you can do. You can sponge around the pieces first before you attach them. So that will give them a little bit of a contrast around the edges um, before you put it on the background. Uh, the other thing that I've done is you can use a pen or a marker and kind of trace around it and that will allow those images to pop as well. So there's there's lots of ideas or versions of this that you can do if you want it to pop a little bit more. Okay, let's see here. Uh, the Blackberry or the Blackberry Beauty Suite. Yeah, that's pretty. The paper is not yet available um, and we haven't heard when we'll be able to get the, the paper. We haven't heard if it's going to be available um, with the release date or not, but I know that we haven't been able to pre-order it. The Peaceful Place Suite, yes, it's very pretty. Um, that is actually the Peaceful peaceful Place. Is that, that's the one, is that the cabin one? Um, 
that, the cabin one is the one that we're doing for um, August class in the mail. So we've just designed all the projects and they are amazing. That paper is so pretty. Okay, so now I've got some other pieces here. I've got a one inch strip of the diagonal DSP and this is going to go across like this. So I'm just gonna flip this over. It's got the birch on the background, so you could use the birch in place of the diagonal stripe. I just wanted to pull in a little bit of that red, so I decided to use the diagonal stripe. Go across like this. And flip it over. So this is a one by four and a quarter inch piece, if you're replicating this card. And then I've gone ahead and I've done some die cutting and some embossing. So from these seasonal label dies, I used this one and this one, cut them both from real red cardstock. And then the smaller of the two, I used the timber embossing folder and embossed that. And this is going to get popped up using some dimensionals. And I just noticed I just used my last dimensional here. We'll add this to the center of this. Just like that. And then this is going to go on flat. Onto the front. Okay, and now we're going to do some stamping. Okay, so let's bring these in. Okay, so I have this cute little deer image that says, oh, what fun on it. And I'm gonna stamp it with Sahara sand. Okay, so we've got that. And then on the inside of our card, I'm going to leave that open because I'm going to use that again in a minute, but we'll just set it aside here. Okay, on the inside of the card, I've got two different greetings. I've got Merry Christmas. So we're going to stamp. That on there, is that straight? That looks okay, okay. And then let's celebrate right underneath it. I think this is the hardest part about doing Facebook Lives and that type of thing is, and videos is just not being able to get right over top because I want you guys to make sure that you can see what I'm doing without having my head in the screen. Okay, and now I'm using one of the small little tree images. There's a few different size trees in here, which is really great. I'm just gonna take one of the small ones. I'm just limiting myself to one ink color for, well, I guess two if you count memento. And I'm gonna stamp, stamp this twice, just to give a little bit of something on the inside. Okay, and then we're gonna bring in our punch. Line this up. So I'm just trying to center it so that I've got a nice even white border all the way around. Okay. We'll bring back our card base, and then this guy is going to get on here. Now on my sample, I put it flat. Actually, I think I'm gonna put it flat again, just because this is a Christmas card. I don't wanna to have to pay extra postage. And sometimes we tuck photos or something inside so it creates extra bulk. Okay. So we've got our deer on there. But if you knew that you were going to hand deliver this to somebody, you could definitely pop that up to give it a bit more dimension. Let's add this piece to the inside and then we'll finish off the outside of our card. Okay. 
So if you love this bundle, this Peaceful Deer bundle, um, this is the bundle that I'm focusing on for my Christmas card class in August. It is on the fourth Tuesday of August, which I can give you the date in a minute. I just have to look it up. I can't remember the exact date. I want to say the 24th, but I might be wrong. Okay, so I'm tying a white baker's twine bow because you know I can't finish a project without a little bit of baker's twine. And we'll grab a mini glue dot. And this is going to go right here. And then we'll bring in some of our red gems, our wonderful gems. And we're gonna put three of them on here. Let's do, I'll do one down here. Okay, and there we go, our card is done. So now I have two more cards done for the holidays. Now, if you missed yesterday's, I'm just trying to pull it out here. Oh, let me grab it. If you missed yesterday's, this was yesterday. So we didn't do Christmas yesterday. Yesterday we did sympathy. So this was day one and here's day two. So you can look forward to several more projects before the release. And if you're interested in more information for this class, the Peaceful Deer class, I've got my thing here. I'll share a little peek at the projects in just a second, but let me get the date for you. Okay, so you have the option of either paying a $35 class fee or placing a minimum $60 order using the class host code. I'll post a link to the event um, in the description afterwards and the class is on yeah, August 24th I was right at 6 30 p.m. mountain time and here's a little peek at two of the three projects so this is similar to kind of like a mini stamp a stack so we will make two each of three different designs and you'll get a bonus idea as well and then I always gift um, participants with a little Christmas tag using the same bundle as well. So you'll end up with five different ideas at least. If I create anything else with it, then I always include that in the tutorial as well. All right. So thanks so much for watching. And um, oh, one last thing that I should point out is during celebration, if you sign up or purchase the starter kit, which is $135, no shipping and no GST. You get to choose $165 worth of product, but you can also choose um, from several different bundles that are in the mini catalog. And this Peaceful Deer bundle, this bundle that I featured today, is actually one of the bundles that you can choose for free, which is a great deal because those bundles vary in price and they go up significantly. So that's something to consider. Purchasing the starter kit is always a best the best deal um, because you can customize it. You can pick whatever you want. And with the release of a brand new catalog, there is lots to choose from. All right, so thanks so much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow here at 11 a.m. Mountain Time for another little peek at some of the products that will be released on August 3rd. All right, take care. Bye guys.